man. Yo, man, what are you doing on my video, man? Yo, yo. Yo, man, some privacy here, please. Nah, I'm kidding, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. Today, there's a surprise. Today, I have Ooh. here with me Juan, who is going first to put off our lovely spin with us. And he's going Ooh. for a really, really nice adventure. He's going to tell us a little bit about that. Gravel, baby. After a sick week, it's amazing to be out. And I think it's yes. probably the first good day we had in a week as well. I think you are, man. You can even see, look how wet it is. It's been raining for quite a lot. But yeah, also nice or less bike adventure before you go on your trip. Which is really exciting, you know. Really happy for you. Happy sure for you, man. Some amazing times. Well, yeah, let's do it. Let's keep cycling. Onwards and upwards. After half an hour cycle, we finally arrived at the Hellfire Club. Well, whatever is left of it. The iconic Hellfire Club on Montpelier Hill in Dublin is still very popular to these days, especially for walkers, hikers and cyclists. This place is full of mystery and horror tales, with a breathtaking feel of Dublin city. So, after all the pictures and videos, it was time to go down. Anyway, let's keep going. We have a little bit let's left, so we're back on tarmac. And let's do it, let's go back. Stretch home. Get some coffee, get warm. Ooh. It was a lovely day. We had a little of an issue. Juan lost his phone in the middle of the trail. We basically had to go all the way back up. But two lovely ladies actually found it and they had his phone just in hand when he got there, oh, which was... There. That's great, well, that's great. Saved us from so too far out. Keep your pocket zipped. Yeah, man, be careful. Especially away yeah. on your trip. You don't want to be doing that, having to so come back. You're not going to be checking all the time. Yeah, man. And here, thankfully, we had used it like minutes ago. So. All right. Uh, absolutely. Uh, look, guys, for who don't know yet, one here, he is just going on a four months adventure. This crazy fucker here, he's actually taking his bike with his girlfriend and he's gonna cycle all the way up to Turkey. Like, yeah. uh, wh what's the total distance, Juan? Well, we were calculating yesterday, a rough estimate would be about 4,600. Right, you don't have the elevation total quite yet no, now. Not really. But we still, how, tell me, how, how did you come up with the idea? How? <laughs> like, you're just talking to your missus, you guys, let's do it. Uh, is, is there like you have... There was a bit of that. There was a right. Friday night pizza that went horribly right. All of it already came up. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we both wanted a, a little bit of adventure. Yes. We wanted to leave Ireland for a while. I know the feeling <laughs> very well. Yeah, but, but this time was for real. So right. <laughs> except that this time we really <laughs> set our minds still. So instead of coming Watch. up with a plan, of what to do afterwards, we just came up with a plan of what to do now. To do, to do now. Right, that's a really good way of seeing that. Yeah, well, you've way that in four months, so yes. might as well live a little. Yeah. Then you guys just got the pannier, it's got everything ready. Yeah, right. And you guys gonna be camping? And how crafty is it gonna be? Like how wild? You guys planning some hotel stuff? You guys gonna cook all your food? We're trying to cook obviously the bike across the town. Nothing you can live on the road. Absolutely. And I think that's a the maximum statement. All right. Um, but then we don't really know. We will we'll rough up some nights. We will. Warm showers, we'll try and use couch surfing, we'll try and find cheap hostels wherever possible. Obviously, we're going to ski, starting everything. If we, if we don't really find it, 
little bit and treat ourselves every every once in a while. Absolutely, absolutely. And the thing as well nowadays, there's such a massive cycling community around the world Indeed. that if you actually put it online, you find really nice people that can help you. Can you, even if they give a backyard to camp on their place, it's safer, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't have to pay for camping, maybe they let you have a shower, share a break with you. I think those you are... Fill up your water bottles or... Exactly, exactly. That's it. Nah, so, that... That's very exciting. There's no plan set in stone. You're right. Already, uh, already uh, a bit of a ticket shape. contact him or just follow give him a thumbs up give him a follow on instagram let's follow a little bit any, of any suggestions on the route as well actually we that's them. actually really good because we don't even know who's going to be watching, watching this yeah, maybe it's actually someone really nice like oh do you yeah. know what i'll give him a burger <laughs> oh talk we're about it know where we're going but we're we actually know, hungry we absolutely have no clue what there to see so i think that's the nice thing though. Yeah. i think that's the magic of it, yeah. isn't it? Because like, Go in there, get surprised, see the world through the eyes of a five-year-old. <laughs> and what? And I think it as well. Like I'm just thinking a kind of philosophical side of it. The really nice thing. Oh, hold on, the cars. I think the really nice. Uh, I think the really nice thing is it teaches how things. I'm just like I might be bringing this a bit too far. Well, I think the nicest lesson of it is that like you have to keep going. Indeed. You know, like doesn't matter if you have the, your best day or if you have the worst day, you have to keep going. Like if tomorrow you have to get in your bike and you have to push forward. I think that's the nicest thing. Oh, turn up. So we're heading right back to the city. I think that's it. That was our second today. Well, guys, if you liked this video, if you had some fun, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That really, really helps. 